As we mentioned, a large number of crashes and slide offs throughout the afternoon. Yeah, Rob Olson is south of the metro and he joins us live from Northfield tonight. All right, fill us in, Rob. How's it looking down there? <laughs> well, it's looking. Uh... Yeah, uh, like winter here. Uh, so downtown Northfield, pretty quiet tonight as uh, most of the businesses that would normally be open now shut down early because of this. Uh, pretty slick roads in town. You get out in the freeway and between here and Faribault, that got treacherous already by the lunch hour as this uh, big blast of winter moved in. It's only going to get worse. 12 inches tonight, mm -hmm. 24 hours. As downtown Northfield turned into a real life snow globe, where winter's first major storm looked more like a postcard. How's it going, everybody? What's your name? John Rock. We found John from Jurek Sod Farms at one of his many stops for contract snow removal, a job he knows will go well into the night. It's uh, treat me well. And it's not cold, I'm wearing a hat, so yeah. it's not too bad. Seven miles to the west, though, it was not good. Where drivers coming off I-35 had escaped a road that quickly turned treacherous. It's not fun driving. How does that sound? Bob Bachmeyer is hauling show pigs from Des Moines to his home in Minot, North Dakota, and determined to keep going through the storm. He had just, though, passed this scene in Faribault, where southbound 35 closed for hours because of multiple semis and other vehicles in a massive pileup. And there's another one that was actually in the median and another one that was jackknife right next to the other one. And so it was one after another. So, you know, it, it takes a, a, a second and then you end up where I am. So on the other side of the interstate, Albert Kasky had just dropped off a collectible car he'd hauled back from Texas when he opted for the ditch instead of sliding right through an intersection. I've been all the way a thousand miles away, a thousand miles back, and in the last 30 miles, I live in South Minneapolis, the last 30 miles. I'm kind of enjoying the weather. Sabrina Rorick was not looking forward to her drive back home to Faribault. It's fine to look at. It's not fun to drive in. Absolutely, which is why I'm kind of hoping to move to, like, Alabama or something in the near future. <laughs> Knowing there's a lot more of this to come. Yeah, it's not going to end anytime soon, so you'll see me out in Northfield all night. Yeah, a uh, beautiful night out here, though, otherwise, if you don't have to drive too far in this. Thanks to Richard here, who lives uh, in downtown Northfield, just brought us some nice hot peppermint tea, which is uh, quickly cooling down, but hits the spot tonight. A, a snow emergency also in effect in Northfield into Sunday, so uh, a lot of snow to deal with down here. And as you can see, a lot of people just staying home for it. Yeah. Back to you. Are you sure it's just tea inside that <laughs> mug, Ron? It is, and it smells <laughs> terrific. Tastes good, too. <laughs> All so right, nice. my friend. Very kind. You stay warm down there. That is awesome <laughs> of somebody to bring that out. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's great. Thanks. Okay.